need to get my nails redone ASAP. Whoops. You're back. Thanks for coming back. After I finish this um this chapter, I'm gonna get back into security studying and then I'm gonna hop on here and start doing um security stuff. I just wanna get this chapter out the way. I'm gonna do some live like we discuss the live um CTF or hacking challenges. I do want to do that after I finish this chapter. I'm probably going to get on here and um, when I start doing my security labs, just get on here and show them like how I'm doing them, how I'm doing my security labs from Daryl Gibson's book. I think my keyboard's messed up. Yes, I do. It's co-stream with two people because we should definitely do that. I think that would be great content and what the people want to see. And the reason why I'm doing, I went through this book and did it. I don't know if I, I said this yet, but the reason why I'm like going through and um, doing all these, pro, these projects and stuff is one, because um, I like Python. Any tips on writing blog posts that are actually interesting? I wrote my first one today. And I felt like it was uninteresting. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't even care if it was interesting. Like, let me not say that. I did care if it was interesting or it could pull people in. To be honest with you, I just write from the soul. <laughs> I just write how I would how I would want it to say how I would want it to sound to somebody. Like if I'm, how I'm sitting here and talking to you guys, I just write how I would be speaking. I'm just naturally a character. Like I just, I can read it. Like if you want to like, want me to proofread it and give you tips, I've been doing that. But that's something that I offer in my, my consulting services. But yeah, I wanted to get this done because I just want to get through this book because I didn't see anyone, like I haven't seen anyone online do it and show like the fixes, like if you run into this, if this happens, um, you know, it's supposed to be like this because I don't have it. I'm just sitting here and free balling and figuring out myself because I don't have anyone to contact other than Raspberry Pi. And sometimes they're a bit hard to contact. So it's been a good learning experience for me to just come up here and take it upon myself to be that person. Just in case somebody buys this book or they come across this book in the Raspberry Pi and they can reach out to me and be like, hey, I see you went through all the, the projects in this book. I'm having trouble here, how do I fix this? And then I can help them. This is where I start to have issues. It starts to tell me width. Where width is, it's a problem. Boom, indentation error. Maybe I should just look this shit up. Y'all know what? Where's my iPad? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I did this last night. We sat here and wrote this up, or I I typed it up from the book. The statement after it has, that's what I, I was just thinking. That I was like, maybe I have the tab. <gasps> it works. We fixed it. I always get so excited when I fix a code problem. Okay, so basically what the code is supposed to do when it's run, it's supposed to make a smiley face. But I think this is what it, what it is right here. I think it's these little, these colorful blocks, to be honest. I don't know how to get down. <laughs> and I keep just getting higher and higher and higher. Holy shit, come down. Oh my God, I'm about to die. Okay. That is it. It's this. 
So one of them is created. But that's the thing. I ran it and it's not it's not doing the whole thing. So maybe I do have to run it from the terminal. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to start over and see what happens. Oh my God. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> it doesn't want me to be great. I really hope um, Raspberry Pi does like a updated, hopefully, maybe, maybe, just maybe, if I can market this these projects enough, we can get an updated Python book. And there probably is already one. I just haven't seen it. I don't think that did anything. Holy shit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, it's 11 o'clock. I don't wanna be on here too late. Um, what I'm gonna do is keep hacking at this thing and see if I can get it to pop up. And then I'll come back on here tomorrow. Where the hell are these coming from? Why are they spread out like this? Oh, you know what? Because I'm pro um so what I think is happening here, there's a piece here. There's a piece over here where we originally found it. And then there's a piece right here that I that I made. Right here. So what I think is happening is I'm creating the pieces every time I restart the code, but they're at different spots. And they're supposed to be together, but because I'm not keeping the code, right? It's not, is that another piece up there? No, but that's, I have three pieces made. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, get off here i'm gonna probably take a nap for two hours and then um try it again all right um and zach i'll send over the code to you um after i get off here okay thanks for tuning in everyone thank you and i'll be back tomorrow